Okay, welcome back. So in this video we're going to go through modeling the leg for our character. And to get us started with that, I'm going to select our object and go to border mode. And just select the border at the bottom where the leg is going to come out. And I'm going to cap that just to give it a polygon there for now. And then in my front view, I'm going to just pull this down a little bit. And I'm going to go over here to the make planar button, not the XYZ one that we were using previously. but the actual button itself and this will just make it planar along itself so it'll just tidy up the edge on our polygon to make it perfectly straight again and now what I'm going to do is just scale it out a bit actually first I'm going to rotate it a little just to kind of get started on the direction our leg is heading and then I'm going to scale it out on all axes just to match it up a bit with our reference then in this view I'm going to actually have to get rid of our arm again because it's in the way as usual. So just keep growing that till you have all the hand basically covered. And just hide it. And I'm just going to pull it over a little bit this way just to roughly line it up with where it's going to come down on the reference image. And now I'm going to extrude this out because we have the polygon selected on the bottom. Sorry, we're still using this polygon. We're not, we haven't changed that. So I'm just going to extrude this down. In X-ray view, I'm just going to move it to the top of the knee, I think. So somewhere like here. And just scale it in on all axes and put it roughly into position in both views, in the front and the left view. In the left view we're only scaling on the X axis, remember. We're not scaling on all axes when we're in the left view. So again, another extrude. And this one is just going to come up to about here. You see when I'm extruding, I'm not caring how much I extrude by. That's because I'm moving it. Um, moving it here anyway, so I'm changing the height so there's no point in like focusing too much on what height I'm making it when I'm just going to be repositioning it anyway so that's positioned there, now I'm just going to do one more extrude and this is just going to go down to the bottom of the leg and we're going to straighten this so to straighten this, I'm just going to have to it's not actually straight now, it looks pretty straight but if I zoom in, you'll see those two lines aren't actually lined up. So now I am going to use this make planar on the Z. And that's going to um, flatten it fully for us. So then just going to put it roughly where I want it and scale it in until it matches our reference. And then in my front view, I'm going to do the same. So position it and scale it only on the X. So now we have this rough block out of the leg, very similar to how we did the arm, it's almost identical. Like. So next thing I'm going to do is just add in some more connections here for the um, upper leg. So I'm going to add in two connections here. And what I'm going to do is this one here, I'm going to actually rotate it a little bit. And this one, I'm going to rotate to match the same rotation in fact. Then I'm just going to position this about here, scale it out, just get it somewhere there. And then in my left view I'm just going to do the same. I'm actually going to go off the reference here and go a bit wider because I'm looking at the back of the um, upper tie here and I don't really think the muscle is as wide as it should be for such a muscular character. So what I'm going to actually do is scale this one as well a little bit just to give us that start to that shape that I'm looking for. So now in this view I'm just going to, in our front view, just going to scale it on all axes. In the left view I'm going to scale it on the x-axis. So that's matching up pretty well. So now I'm going to do the same thing down here, but we're going to need more connections. So we've got like three there. So we've got four loops. 
and I'm going to put in four connections down here, I think, or three. Three. Um, this one will be the widest part, then this part will be a narrower. And I'm going to put in four here. Because I want it to get gradually wider, I don't want it to be too blocky. I know we're doing a low poly character, but you can still afford to be a little bit. Have a few extra connections if we think they're going to add to the model, which I think these will. So I'll just scale it out, put it into position roughly. Again, I mean, you can see here this isn't um, really the shape I'd like, but it's close enough that I'll just go with that actually. So now in our left view again, scale out on the X, move it into position. You can see here this X is a bit too wide. I don't really like the way this isn't matching up here. So what I'm going to do is just pull this up to here. Scale out on the X. Just to give us this highest point that I'm looking for. So I'm going to move this up as well and kind of just move it up to there. I'm actually just going to pull those vertices in. I'm just going to double check my front view because I think I've gone off it a bit. And I have. So I'm not going to scale this time. I'm just going to pull these vertices in. And pull these ones out. Just because I don't really need to scale that. It's Find the way it was. So now I'm just going to position these last ones. I'm going to actually move these up as well. So again, roughly position it in both views. And there we have that. And the last edge will have to come in and come back here a little bit and scale it on the X just to match. So just looking at this I think that could maybe come out a little bit and this could come down a bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit nicer now. Okay, so we have all that kind of laid out now, just double checking everything. Looking at the back here again, I think it's dipping in and then coming out too much. Because, like I said, he's quite a muscular character, so I think that would actually come out more like that. This one come out as much either, though. Maybe more this one that comes out. Because it's the bottom of your thigh muscle that really bulges when you've got muscular legs. So now I'm just going to add in the last few connections we need for the knee. So to do the knee, what I'm going to do is two connections and just pinch them apart to get roughly the size I want for the knee. I'm not following the reference here for the knee because the knee is off at an angle. So I'm just kind of getting it roughly, say roughly 50 apart just so there. I kind of have enough room for where I want the knee. So to do the knee, all I'm going to do is select these polygons that I just created on the front and extrude these out. And I'm going to extrude these only very slightly, so something like that. And in my left view, I'm just going to check it. And yeah, I think that's pretty okay. I'm just going to pull it all back a little bit. And maybe pull this in there, this up here. I just want to pull this up and out because I want the front of the tie to bulge out a bit again. So then pull these back of the knee in and then maybe pull just these vertices so the side sets of verts and just pull those back a little bit as well I think. Now what I'm going to do is grab the front again these two polygons and I'm just going to scale them on all axes just to kind of pull them in a little bit 
then what I'm going to do is same thing I did with the elbow. So with my edge constraints on, I'm just going to scale this on the Z and this on the Z. And then I'm going to scale these in on the X and these in on the X. And then still with my edge constraints on, I'm just going to pull these apart a little bit. I may actually pull these further back a little as well. Just to give us more of a shape there. Something like that. And maybe pull I may have actually scaled them wrong. And turn off my edge constraints and just pull it out a little bit more. I think I just pulled it in too far. And now the last thing I'm going to do is add one more connection around here. And this is just so I can get the shape on the back of the knee. So if you look here, you can see the knee is going to come in a little bit more again. And again, I'm going to pull these out a little bit. I just want to really get that shape pull, bulging out. So now what I can do is, with all this, I'm just going to pull the front of the knee a little bit, just to give it the kind of kneecap shape. And now in my front view, I just need to kind of tidy this up a little bit. So to do that, I'm just going to pull these in, and these in. I'm going to have to pull these out to do this just to get that kind of kneecap shape again. So you need those come in and out again. So, something like this. Should look good, I think. Yep. Okay, so now in my left view, all I'm going to do is grab all these vertices here with my edge constraints on, just pull them up a very small amount and pull these down a small amount just to give it a bit more room there for when it is deformed. So now that is our leg done. So I'm just going to put it all on the same smoothing group again and in, for, in polygon mode I'm just going to unhide my arm again and this is what we have now. So if I just delete this bottom polygon, so we don't need that. And if I put a symmetry on, just to show you, oh, whoops, I have to grab an edge that I want the symmetry to be at. So put the symmetry on, then the turbo smooth, and you can see we've got our kneecaps. They're a bit pinched but all that will take is just moving this edge loop up a little bit further to kind of ease the pinch. shouldn't be pinched on the back I think because it did move the back. Yeah you can see it's not actually pinched on the back, it's only on the front because I didn't move the edge on the front. So I'll do that um, between the lessons again. And overall though it's looking pretty good. In the front of his ties look a bit rounded rather than muscular. So all you'd have to do really to fix that is with end result shown in Edible Poly, just kind of maybe pull these ones out a bit and these ones out a bit. Just to kind of square them off a bit, you know, so it's like looks more muscular rather than kind of fat which it did look like. Same with the inside of the leg. Oops. You can do the same thing where you just kind of square it off a bit so it's a bit more blocky looking. But overall I think that looks pretty good. So with my end result off again, back here. Yeah, you can see, I mean, we've got a pretty good character going now. We just need to put his feet on and then connect his head and we will be done. So thanks for watching and hopefully you've been able to follow along up until this point. I mean the leg was quite easy again, it's pretty much the arm all over again. So hopefully you didn't have too much trouble with that. And the next part will be the foot which is 
extremely easy to do so I don't think we'll have any trouble there and then you've pretty much got your character done so thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video